You know, before you can get to the general election in November and face the Republican who is running against you, you have five other Democrats in this primary who want to take your place. Why should our viewers vote for you over them? Well, first of all, it's just crazy that there's five only in this race. And it kind of goes hand in hand with being targeted as well for the indictments to try and weaken me, try and bring me down. Uh, but the primary reason that voters should vote for me over the others is that I know what I'm doing there at the legislature. I don't just run for office, for office, for office until I can win something. I've run for the House of Representatives. I haven't tried to uh, do things for me personally. Everything has been for the constituents of District 46. I'm the only one who is a native of the district. Seniority is everything when you are in a body like the legislature. With there being so many conservatives, it is imperative that you have that seniority to be able to use it to choose the appropriate and most powerful committee that you can to serve your constituents. Right now, I am 11 out of 150, which means that my seat on appropriations is guaranteed because I am the most senior member on the committee and the most senior member who selects to be on that committee. Let's turn now to some of the issues the people in District 46 are facing. I think if you go out and you talk to people in the area and you ask them what concerns you, they say affordability, the cost of their home and their rising property taxes. Mm -hmm. What ideas do you have to address those concerns for your constituents? Affordability of houses. The appraisal district, Travis County Appraisal District, those members are appointed by the commissioner's court, determine the appraisal values. During the session, there was legislation, an attempt to cap appraisal values, attempts to cap what um, cities could raise in and when they had to uh, report to the people in the community that they uh, were making an increase or uh, would do a bond election. Municipalities have fought the state tooth and nail from passing those bills. As a matter of fact, one of my opponents was a lobbyist for the Municipal League of Cities and actually lobbied to uh, oppose measures that would have brought down the values of those homes that were skyrocketing. Um, I think it's very important that we you know, uh, put measures in place that are going to help those who not only move into the community under this gentrification um, um, ideal, but also those who have been there historically. We could set up historical districts like the city of Houston did. You know, uh, the state could give the power to the city to do it, but Austin is a home rule city, so Austin has to implement these things and I I think it's important that the citizens know that many times measures that the citizens may believe would truly be beneficial to them are organized levels of government be they the city or the county they lobby the legislature very hard not to support those measures I'm just one of the few members of um, the legislature and certainly the only one in my delegation that I will make a decision for my district, not just for the city of Austin, the government. So you kind of alluded to the rollback rate and the caps on the rollback rate. Right now mm -hmm. it's 8%. Is there a number that you're comfortable with that you feel it should be lowered to? No, because there has not been enough data provided to say there is a percentage that would allow for a city to be healthy, but also that is within um, means 
for the constituents who are having to pay for that. Some final thoughts on why you should be reelected. Experience, seniority, passion, no fear, never back down, and I have a track record of passing laws and fighting for the people of District 46 first. Not someone else, not um, some um, special interest group, not for uh, the city of Austin or Travis County, but always the people of District 46 first. Now we want to remind you, early voting for the Texas primary begins February 20th. Election day is March 6th. That's Texas this week. Stay with us. We'll have a final check of your weather right after this.